Davis, and then Goldsack, and then Seedsman again. Gee, with some pays off. Brilliantly done, Seedsman. And gets it across the swan. And this is the moment. Yes! Waxfits does it! Reaction. Is that the first goal he's ever kicked out? He's oh. back for the guy. First goal from the crew. That That's a player who's well liked by his teammates, isn't it? They're really happy for him. Gotta love that. That's great stuff. Just his sixth game of the year as well. Last week was his best numbers game of the season. So just hitting four. Selwood, one of the Brownlow favourites, back inside 50. Chapman, you'll hear the crowd go crazy. It is a full house. There is not a spare seat here at Seven Stadium, and they all went up as one. Scully has to give off. No, he doesn't. He can back turn and then uses Sumner. Well done. He sold a bit of the dummy. Does he get away? He does. Now, does he go for goal? He does, and he kicks it. Well, well Tom, there's a bit of. Oh, yeah. They congregate at the top of the square. Oh, that's hilarious. And the biggest man there wins. Goldstein. Every kick inside 450 again this quarter has been to a designated place on the ground. Not one kick, not one, has gone to the goal face. Kick was so good on the left foot because Richards and the Hawkins were both stationary. But Stevie Johnson, and he's going to get it back here. He rolls it to him. Well, that's, that's a silly option. From Smith. It's a silly option. For oh, oh, oh Bob Lock, like, speaking about the biggest bag of tricks in the game. Motlock puts the Cats in front for the first time today. Something for old time's sake. Beautiful scenery kick. Look at that. Magnificent. Montaigne. Oh, not from there. Absolute magic from Lee Montagna. Kicks his third. Oh, I'll get the papers drawn up tomorrow. Where it goes long. Shaw waiting if it hits the ground. No, it didn't hit the ground. It hit Franklin. Couldn't get the last one, but take that one off me. I'll tell you what, there was a little sneaky hand in the back of the game if you watch it. Great execution, though. So five for Franklin, four for Ruffin. Kicks to the 50. Hale. Bruce. Mitchell. 27th disposal. Oh, oh wow. Hanson. Good boy. They're brave, North Melbourne. This club is not 10th on the ladder. Wingard keeps going. He'll get used. He right. can play on on the left boot. Got Heath. Well, he had little Jake Need in the pocket. It's going to bounce. It'll test him out. And he dribbles it along the cat in the hat. Oh, that's just what Port Adelaide need. Little Jake Need. And then just pulls one out of the bag of tricks. Oh, that is sensational. And that's just a classy finish. On the left boot, high up and under. Big grab from behind, Mocklock! That could be mark of the year. Oh, geez, that's a big jump. I'm not sure that's in his job description, but uh, if you can do it, that why is wouldn't as you? good as anything I've seen this year. Have a look at the fans. Aren't they pumped? Oh, from a long way out as well. Up he goes, and as the Cats fans see it on the screen, he gets a second cheer and round of applause. Blues have got the hand, they've got the footy, that's a poor footy, that's in the back and that'll be a hip and free, the advantage by Howard, the Bombers can win this one, Bagley, Bagley a long ball, Connor looks behind him and says someone do it, boy McInnes ran for the spoil when he didn't need to and then he ran over the top of his own man, oh boy, Zaharakis kicks the goal, he's done it again, Zaharakis has done it again with 28 seconds left. Boy, oh boy, McGinnis bowed his own mate over. Not once, but twice. Men 
Denzel goes long. They need a mark, the Blues. Eddie Betts flew high. A big fly, but he couldn't hang on. And the Bombers are going to win. The Bombers are going to win here today. James Hurd and his Bombers have won.